So knowing textures will take you to next level because they are giving the style. First, to explain you what are the textures, I actually created for you a wheel of textures. Sorry about my creativity, I hope it will be a good tool for you to use in the future. From the theory, we're gonna move to practical part. We're gonna learn how to create beautiful outfits, next level outfits. And I will give you those five examples of great chic outfits. Texture describes the body or the surface of the fabric. Visually, we can distinguish share or transparent, like organza, like mesh, really thin cotton, or opaque, which are not transparent. All other textures will be not transparent. Basically, you cannot see through that fabric. And then, visually, we can see shiny or dull which i would also call matte probably so shiny these uh these fabrics reflect the light and this may be silk sequin shiny leather and matte or dull would be the rest so cotton denim tweed anything that have this low level of reflectivity let's move to hand touch hand feel so with the hand we can distinguish raw or smooth raw it will be anything that have this non-smooth surface so this would be tweed this would be again seguin which you can feel like wool or fur or fleece and smooth this will be cotton silk this would be maybe not this leather because this is a croc leather and it would be raw but smooth it would be this cotton top and we can define stiff or soft wool jumper tops cashmere really soft and stiff would be denim would be something which doesn't burn so denim really hard cotton maybe really hard leather you know cow leather another thing what we can see by hand touch is thin or thick so thin obvious would be like silk it would be like this cotton bamboo cotton top maybe cashmere but wool let's say merino wool would be a thick material denim would be thick and tweed leather this would be thick materials right so let's now talk about every single texture and what actually it brings to outfit what actually it highlights or maybe when it's better to use and for whom it's better to use so we're gonna start first with the dull and shiny or matte and shiny dull finishes they absorb light and in general they make figure look smaller or slimmer so if you would like to correct your figure or if you have irregularities which you would like to hide my recommendation would be use dual matte fabrics shiny however would rather highlight irregularities of your body in general shiny fabrics are good for the slimmer figure another thing with the dull fabric is if you use dull fabrics in really bright colors they actually look cheap so dull fabrics rather use in darker shades or matte shades so all shiny which would highlight figure imperfections would be obviously silk obviously satin metallics if they are thin metallics the next one is rough materials weed leather like crocodile leather so with the tweed guys if you choose tweed in a darker colors they will highlight your age or they will add your age so if you put tweed in the portrait zone my recommendation would be whether choose lighter colors or choose the lighter lipstick so it highlights your face smoothness because 
rough tweed will highlight imperfections of your face i mean early sign of aging or maybe irregular skin tone so something like that right with the smooth smooth fabrics in general they look really attractive on the figure now we're moving to stiff and soft so stiff fabrics would hide figure irregularities imperfections but remember if you have really stiff look would actually look heavy on you and might add you weight if you have parts where you need to add weight so rather than choose stiff fabrics let's say if you have small hips and you would like to add size to your hips my recommendation would be add really hard cotton denim which holds the shape and they will actually add a size to your hips so if you have small hips and you would like to add size here you go this is a brilliant tip how to do that now let's talk about soft so soft fabrics they will reveal all your body imperfections and you won't be able to hide something what needs to be hidden and if something is soft and fluffy it would rather make impression of really comfortable really cozy look let's say cashmere set would be really nice for home like lounge set and definitely not going in a restaurant or going maybe on serious meals and finally guys let's talk about thick or thin thick items add volume to body let's say velvet if you have velvet trousers they will add size to your body if you have velvet blazer or maybe sweat blazer or sweat trousers they will add size if you have really small figure you are petite girl they might overpower your small figures however thick fabrics they are really good in balancing figure let's say if you have small burst and you're putting something thick thick top then it actually can hide that small burst and make impression that you have balanced top balanced burst to your hips we talk about thin fabrics that they again and will highlight imperfections and especially all the thin leggings thin satin skirts silk skirt they might highlight body imperfections like silhouettes so my recommendation would be check if you're okay peer this way or then balance it with something heavy maybe and bulky to cover that zone where you have imperfections right guys so how do we actually mix textures in here i'm gonna tell you this way if you are really new someone who just learns fabrics and textures and how to mix them use my created wheel of textures i hope it makes sense so here you will go this way so you always choose the opposites i put them into different colors so the black and gray so do the mix of two opposites and then they would look perfectly so this is the perfect outfit when you use two opposites you can mix whether the two different opposites or four different opposites don't go more than four because it might be too complicated let's look at some outfits and try to recognize which of them here were used let's look first at the dull plus shiny of course you can see that they might be added some other first let's pay only attention to dull and shiny next one raw and smooth so two opposites stiff or soft sharp or transparent and opaque and thick and thin as i said if you are really beginner with this so don't mix more than four in your outfit let's now look at the five cool texture mixes for a chic outfit and we're gonna look at the pictures we're gonna learn and we're gonna see which textures here how they are mixed what are those cool combinations of textures we're gonna have five techniques approaches of how we're gonna be mixing textures so really first let's build monochromatic look where you take whether the one color or you're taking one color with a different shade and here you are playing with the textures it will always look expensive and also it will look tasty 
in really next level, really stylish, because here we're gonna be mixing different textures. Total outfits, the best textures we can choose would be leather, cotton, denim, twill, gabardine, wool, silk. So these kind of textures we will be choosing and we will be putting them together. Let's look first at the total black then total white. I will show you a few pictures of total outfit. Right, let's move to second trick or tip. So we gonna be using color blocking. So color blocking, it's whether you choose two colors or more. If you choose two colors, like let's say black or white or any other two colors, choose also two textures, two different textures. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't go more than three colors because otherwise it will be oversaturated. It would be overpowered outfit with the quite a few textures, quite a few colors, it might be too much. If you are not really high contrast type, you're not really high contrast person, then my recommendation is stay with the less colors. I mean, two, three, no more, and no more than four textures. Right, so next one, third one, styling trick with the textures would be layering. Layering is perfect it's brilliant it's the best styling trick with the textures because here you are building layers here you are using normally three sometimes four layerings here you can play nicely with the different textures this probably is my favorite because i do love layerings obviously moving towards the summer or spring it might be quite difficult but we always have cool fabrics like silk like really bamboo cottons like linen we do have materials like vinyls like anything what feels lightweight organza this kind of fabrics which will give us opportunities to do layerings anyways brilliant fantastic layering would always work with the denim with the jean outfit because jeans are really casual thing because denim will always balance everything so if you are making three layerings on top your jeans will always balance it and here again depends on kind of shoes you're choosing it's whether the leather shoes loafers maybe western boots maybe cowboy boots maybe sandals or it can be any trainers or maybe heels and again here's another extra opportunity where you can use the texture and bring the accent obviously and why I do love layerings because here you can bring anything you have from the textures wool silk cotton thin cotton thick cotton anything what you like share beautiful share transparent clothes will work nicely in a layering creating that complicated look that tasty that balanced look dwarf styling trick will be neutralization and when we take one really screaming piece it can be really bright skirt it can be sequined skirt then we will be playing with normal basics and so cotton wool denim blazers with a twill or gabardine or chinos these kind of textures will be nicely working with the sequin or let's say you are bringing something transparent transparent skirt which is quite trendy as well yeah so this kind of dresses we will be able to style to neutralize with the other textures right and fifth styling tricks it will be a chromatic look where you whether bring two colors or three color mix white gray and black so it's up to you but this would be really easy and really simple trick really simple styling because you are not overloading your outfit with the colors so here you can go with textures you can experiment here with the textures and maybe try to bring more than four textures just for the experiment and see what you can create cotton denim white or black denim would work nice in these outfits 
and any blazers, any cotton, any twill, any other textures in white, black or grey would look perfect. I promise you, once you learn the texture mixed, how to mix the textures, so use my wheel, I know it's not perfect, but still at least it gives you an idea and then in time you will learn it and you will be able to use and create your own outfits. Experiment and thank you for your time and thank you for watching me and bye!